Uh, been a part of this show each and every year, so we welcome the Spartans back. This coverage brought to you by Dominion, and we thank you for choosing the 615 line because that means we can get there. The Finley rematch, if you get by Bowling Green, we can get up to Otsego, get back for highlights. So I know you were thinking about us whenever that all played out. Sean, welcome to the show. First off, coming off the big win against Defiance. Let's talk about that first off. How proud are you, and what did your team learn last night? Well, I think after Friday night, I'm, I'm, I think we were the worst team in the state of Ohio. <laughs> but, you know, when, when you have a, a group of young kids, and, and they can bounce back, and they show that they want to continue to fight and want to continue to work, you know, we, we put a lot of the pieces of the puzzle together uh, last night against Defiance. But when you have a young group, you just we will see what tomorrow and Monday <laughs> practice brings. So, I mean, I, I'm really proud of the kids because they continue to battle. They could have just tanked it for the weekend and we could have felt sorry for ourselves. But, you know, Defiance coming in state ranked uh, as good a record as they had. I thought we played really, really well. Probably the best basketball we have played all season. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we'll, we'll see what the young kids want to do and see how it goes this week. Sean, you guys still have a lot of basketball left in the regular season because of makeup schedule being moved. You got this week, you've got LCC Tuesday, you got a conference matchup on Friday with Clay, and you got another conference matchup on Sunday. So even before you get to the tournament and can even think about playing BG, still got a lot to take care of in the track and locally too, don't you? Well, you do, but as many games we're playing, we've played Friday, Saturday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, and this week we go Tuesday, Friday, Sunday, then Tuesday, Friday. You just want to keep kids healthy by the time you get to the tournament. And I think at this point of the year, we're just trying to fine tune. You can't really practice, do too much. You want to keep the kids fresh. And then we just go from one game to the other. And I think it kind of takes some of the, 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 the hype and all that stuff away because as soon as we're done with Tuesday, then we jump right into the track on Friday and then right back on Sunday. So, I mean, as many games as we have, we just are, are seem to go from one game to the other. How do you feel that players uh – like that, I mean, they're out of the gym, so they're not practicing, that they prefer playing, but from the same standpoint, the travel and all the thing, how is the psyche of the guys, would you say? Well, I think it's really good, but by the time you get in the end of January and February, it's hard as a coach to get them really focused up to practice all the time. So mm -hmm. when you have a young team, playing is probably the best thing you can do because, you, you know, you really have game time experience. So uh, for a young team, I think that helps us. And, you know, playing this many games coming in the tournament, hopefully we can continue to play better and, and play, you know, pretty good the first tournament game. Finish up by talking about the sectional we alluded to at the beginning. Bowling Green, four wins on the season. Uh, you get them first. Kind of what are your feelings on the Bobcats? Well, you know, they start three sophomores. Their best players, Lamont Stone, whose dad is an assistant coach at Bowling Green. He averages 20. Um, they're, they're a lot like us in the, in the youth and in experience. But as soon as you start the tournament, all the records go out the window. Uh, you know, I'd like to think that we're getting better. We're better than we were at the beginning of the season. But, you know, we have a lot of games. And like I said, if you can keep injury free, you mm -hmm. just never know. And that's why you play. That's a great thing about basketball. Everybody gets involved in the tournament and you see what happens. Lima Senior Coach Sean Allen joining us. We appreciate his insight brought to you by Dominion.